Hi there, my name is Randy McEntee. I'm a co-founder of Logic.tv and a flame artist at the Department of External Services. Welcome to Logic Academy. In this video, we're gonna talk about Autodesk Flame's Pybox feature, which allows you to directly access external applications from within Flame. In this example, we're gonna show you how to set up Nuke as if it were a plugin in Batch. Pretty cool. Before we dive in, thanks to Autodesk for sponsoring this video. It may sound complicated, but all we have to do is edit one line in one file and create the easiest Nuke script template ever. Here's how it works. In a terminal, I'm gonna change directories to opt Autodesk presets, my version of Flame, which in this case is 2022.1, slash pybox, slash presets. I'll list this directory, and here's the file that I wanna modify. It's called nuke underscore px.py. Let's just call it our px.py file. I'm kind of clumsy, and every time I edit a file in Linux, I make a backup of it first. So in order to do that, I'm just gonna copy that file. I'm gonna name it, give it a new name, which in this case is .back. And now here's my backed up file. Now I wanna edit this file, but I wanna move it somewhere else first, because this is kind of a not convenient place. On my desktop called Pybox Yo. Then I'm gonna copy this nuke px.py file to that new folder that I just created. Let's do copy that to home Randy desktop pybox yo and the name of the file I'm gonna keep it at px.py so that file still gonna be named the same we're just putting it somewhere else too. Okay so now we're there and let's change to that folder. And there it is right there. I wanna edit this file using nano, which is my favorite text editor. sudo nano slash, oop, and the file. So nuke, enter my password, and here we go. So all I'm gonna do is arrow down, and this is all we have to worry about here, these two paths right here. Now, this first payload path, you don't need to make anything or do anything with it. All you have to make sure is that this path resolves, or in other words, that user temp lives somewhere so that it can write payload.json. If it doesn't exist, like maybe you're on a Mac and it doesn't, just enter this same place, the same path here that we just created on their desktop, the Pybox Yo folder, or whatever you call your folder. And this nuke path, all we have to do is say, hey, where is Nuke installed? And for me, that's installed, not here, but there. So this is where my Nuke, this is how I launched my Nuke. So we're just telling this Python file where to launch Nuke. Okay, once we like what we see, I'm gonna hit Control O to overwrite. Enter to enter, control X to exit. And then just to double check, I'm gonna run that same command again. And yeah, this is what we just modified, so we're good to go. Control X, and now we should be good. So now we can launch Nuke. And basically create a template for us to modify. So we first need a read node. And I'm gonna grab any file. Whatever file you grab, it doesn't matter. But what does matter is that we change the name of that node. So the name of that node must be ADSK underscore one underscore capital front and number one. It has to be named this. If it doesn't, it's not gonna work. Next, we're gonna need a couple write nodes. And we need this to be named ADSK underscore one, underscore capital result, number one. I'm gonna make a copy of that. And we need this for the outmat. So we're gonna call that outmat one. And again, it has to be named precisely that. 
So now what we'll do is we've got a couple shuffle nodes. Oh yeah, you can see my amazing nuke skills. More of a lame artist than a nuke artist. So this first shuffle node, all we're gonna do is sever the alpha. And this other, we're gonna get rid of these guys and just output the RGB alpha into the red, green, and blue channels. Okay, then with our source, why don't we make a dot and another dot just for a little tidy up, just so it looks nice, you know, overachieve. And now basically anything we put in between these two dots will end up accessible to us from within flame. So let's do the world's worst composite. By blurring the heck out of this image. And then we're gonna do the world's worst roto. By rotoing the world's worst shape. I'm gonna set the pre-multiply to alpha. So now we have an RGB and an A. So all we have to do, save this comp. Let's call it uh, blur test yo. We'll exit nuke, why not? Launch flame. Step into batch. Let's load a new Pi box. Now, this first file we are going to load is the file that we modified. So if you remember, I saved that in a desktop Pi box yo, and it was called nuke underscore px. Let's load that. So this effectively says, hey flame, your nuke instance is there. And now, once we have the handler selected, handler selections. Under the main page, there's a new composition, which we double click here, head to user home, desktop, Pybox Yo, and here's our blur test. Hit F4. Flame in the background is going to launch Nuke as a command line render. So here's it launching, here's it rendering, and Nuke is rendering this blur. And if we're really good, here's our mux, there's our mat as well. So the F4, F4 toggle between the comp and the result works as well. There you have it. If you have any questions or comments, look me up on the forums at forum.logic.tv. If you enjoyed this Logic Academy, let us know. And if there's something you'd like to see, be sure to drop us a line. I'm Randy McEntee, and you're watching Logic.